If you want to know how you can make modular inspired sounds, darker raw minimal sounds with the freeware tool from Noise Engineering, then I think this video is perfectly fitted to you. In this week's video, I want to show you the process on how you can create darker vibe, modular inspired bell sound and percussions you can create with the freeware tool from Noise Engineering, right? So I, I show you how I, how I made it and the track is inspired by Direk, a Romanian artist. This sounds good to you so you can adapt and let yourself inspire and come up with your very own modular darker vibe inspired tracks without using modular gear without spending money on buying modules or even jumping into VCB rack because this is a plug-in version ready let's jump in hey my friends Ron here from roughystudio.com before we start, I quickly want to mention my soft but snappy Romino Ableton Live Kick template. And by the way, if you think, oh, okay, I just landed on this video and you're wondering what the fuck is this background all about? Uh, basically, um, long story short, I'm currently living and traveling in a minivan with my family. Um, so we are a family of four traveling across the US and uh, I'm sorry for the background. So just that you get some transparency but anyway coming back to the freeware tool so if you want a highly adjustable kick template that you can adjust to whatever it's a dark or more classic vibe uh, kick then i highly recommend that you download um, my soft but snappy roman more ableton live kick template which is inspired by a lot of Romanian artists, minimal artists, micro house artists. It's an Ableton Live based um, plugin, right? That you can adjust to your needs. If you want that for free, just click the link below and then you get it shipped to your inbox. Now let's jump over to this week's Stalker Vibe, Modular Vibe, Vibish sound design process on how to make bell sounds and percussion stuff, modular sounds, right? For this week's video, I want to Focusing on a track that I that is inspired by some modular sounds. I call it that way because it's, to me it sounds like uh, modular stuff. And it's actually a freeware tool from Noise Engineering that you can use, which is based on, on a modular module. It's from this Sync Eider, I guess I pronounced it correctly. And the track was inspired by this one from Produce it direct, direct, Romanian producer, right? Darker vibe track, and this is the stuff that I came up with today morning. It's just an idea so far, but um, I think I can build on it. Right? Now what I want to focus on is on those kind of sounds here. I call them modular sounds even if it's not modular right but this was actually created with a tool called sync wire or i don't know how to pronounce that sorry but basically that's a freeware tool actually and it's uh, based on noise engineering's modular module uh it's called sync Iter, think Iter. Man, why do they use so complicated names? But anyway, who cares? I was basically starting with that, and I use like almost every time uh, MD Snake to trigger some sounds, and then loading this uh, Sync Warrior, right? We Warrior, we rough. Let's just for the sake of simplifying it, Sync, triggering it. Adding a little bit of 
swing here as you can see and here you can play with the slope right relatively short release chorus here's without Now we can play. Could even add some sparkle if you want to. It actually sounds interesting to me. And then we have some different modes, right? We have noise, plane super and then we have this tone uh, dial here wait a minute I just have an idea here why don't we use just an LFO Let's use plane maybe. Just that you get the idea. Just experimenting. But for my taste, to be honest, it's a little bit too crazy right now. Because I have already some random shit going on. But in a nutshell, I recommend using playing with the mode, then with the tone, slope, um, maybe yeah, chorus, yeah, resonance, maybe cut off, right? So we get those bell kind of sounds I was aiming for. So that's the first thing, the sound generation, right? Then following effect I used um, Ableton Live's um, pipe resonator. I assigned different tiles here as you can see to an LFO with a random setting. I just experimented a little bit and with a membrane setting here. To spice it even more up, right? To make it a little, little bit more prominent. I found membrane works the best for this. kind of sound but yeah it's open for experimentation right like always there's no right or wrong from music production especially this sub genre a lot of space for experimentation that's why I love it And then what I did was I duplicated that sound a couple of times here again but I think it's different MIDI files right and here same MIDI files like here 
I duplicated it again, but I used different setting here, the noise, to make some kind of um, yeah top percussion, quirky sounds, whatnot. Played with the noise, uh, slope. Sorry, cut off. All the chorus. And then again followed by pipe resonator marimba actually setting. Again, you know, go and experiment. I would highly encourage you to experiment. But just to give you some inspiration maybe to start with this sync from noise engineering. Actually, I exported those MIDI files from a, from a modular sample pack, but it doesn't really matter. You can also go with uh, MTD Snake, some random uh, sequence generation, right? Just some notes needs to be there, in my opinion, and then you can really experiment. And then, but more importantly, then the pipe resonator, I added um, Tantra 2, right? That gives a lot of, yeah, vibe to the quirky sounds. Right. Mix in 100%. I just used it a little bit. Works like a dry wet knob, right? So mixing in the effect a little bit. And here I have some random notes, right? Here's some melodic, more melodic kind of thing. And then we can build up on this, right? So basically, step number one, using this sync, we your I don't know how to call it, sorry. And then followed by pipe resonator, assigning some LFOs to um, DK, for example, a tune, amount maybe, just go and experiment. And there's a third option, it's optional um, using Tantra 2 to sequence sequence multi-effect right and within the sync I would play around with the mode setting tone slope maybe uh, cut off resonance and chorus right and then you should be able to get some interesting modular kind of um, effects or uh, percussions or those bell kind of sounds I call them groove elements for a track so yeah thanks for your time hope this is inspiring and vibrates with you thanks for watching cheers bye bye